Hi, this video is going to be about law of probability and genetics and as usual I recommend you to stop video here, read the problem, questions, try to solve uh, each question on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the problem, albinism results from an autosomal recessive gene, two parents with normal pigmentation have an albino child. Question A. What is the probability that the next child will be albino? And in order to solve this problem, we have to draw a Punnett square. So as long as we know that both parents uh, have normal pigmentation but they have uh, an albino child, that means that both of them would be heterozygous for this trait. And uh, both of them would be carriers of this trait because this is autosomal recessive uh, trait. So the genotype of the father would be uh, capital A and small a and genotype of the mother also would be capital A small a. Of course we can use any letters that we prefer. So it can be A or B or C, whatever. So. Uh, here we would have capital A, capital A, so normal phenotype. Here we would have capital A, small a, also normal phenotype. And this is also going to be normal phenotype here. And here we would have um, uh, homozygous recessive genotype. And this child would be affected. And as you see, chances would be 1 out of 4. So 2 would be carriers here, but the phenotype would be normal and uh, one would be homozygous dominant. So three out of four would be phenotypically normal and one out of four or 25% uh, uh, would be um, affected with this genetic disorder. And uh, in order to answer this question, uh, we also have to know that um, uh, probability that the next child would be albino would be one fourth because uh, whatever child this couple uh, have right now, uh, whether it is affected or not affected with this genetic disorder, this have no influence on the uh, probability that uh, following child would have this genetic disorder. So our answer would be one fourth, or also we can say zero point twenty five or twenty five percent. So all these three answers would be correct. And next question B: uh, What is the probability that the next child will be an albino girl? And uh, it is very easy. Once again, we can uh, use a Punnett square. So uh, the father, whose uh, uh, genotype would be XY, this is two sex chromosomes, can produce two types of gametes. One would be X and another type would be Y chromosome. So as you see, female only can produce uh, one type of chromosomes. This is X and X. So um, the gender of the or sex of the child uh, defined by the male, by the male's sperm. So this is going to be uh, gamete and this is going to be gamete. So um, males can produce two types of gametes, one with X chromosome and one with Y chromosome. So 50% of uh, the male sperm has um, X chromosome and 50% as you see have um, uh, Y chromosome. So when we build a Punnett square we would see that uh, probability uh, of the gender of such couple would be 50% would result in girls and 50% would result in males. So uh, so let me circle it. So 50% boys and another 50% would be girls. 
so this is would be another 50 percent so in order to answer this question uh, we have to uh, multiply this to independent events and the first would be probability uh, to have um, uh, affected child and as uh, we find it earlier the probability is one fourth so this is one fourth and the probability uh, for the child to be a girl would be one half so we have to multiply these two independent probabilities and the answer would be one eighth and uh, you can also give an answer as decimal number you, you just have to uh, divide one by eight so uh, the last question is uh, what is the probability that the next three children will be albino and uh, this is also very easy so the probability that the next child would be albino would be one fourth uh, the probability that the so they already have one child and the second child uh, probability that going to be affected with this genetic disorder is one fourth and the third child uh, probability to be affected also would be one fourth and the third child to be affected also probability would be one fourth so once again we have to multiply this um, independent events and as you see um, one fourth multiplied by one fourth would be one sixteenth multiplied by one fourth would be one over sixty four and this is going to be probability to have uh, three uh, children uh, that would be albino and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye